Scene one opens up to a church. There's a guy with this thing like right here. Not like his thing, but like ah thing. Like it's right in this area. And he's all sad, right? He's on a freaking church or something. I don't even know what he's doing. But he's like there, and he's all, you know, oh, I'm Quasimodo, and nobody likes me. And then there's this big fight, and boom, the movie's over. And Quasimodo's, like, looking real good. Like, I mean, like, if you are into that kind of thing, like, you, hmm, you're going to get you some. What's inside of here? I never know what... I just can't do it, Gotten. I don't have the power. Scene. The jungle opens up. The sunrise over the horizon. Mufasa lifts his baby son and says, well, he doesn't say anything. He's just lifting his son. And Rafiki gets in there and he's shaking his stick. And, and he's really getting at it, right? So fast forward a few minutes, right? And Simba is like, he's like young, but he's like not that young. And he's still got the hots for that Lana chick or whatever her name was. And like, he's doing his thing, right? He's like pouncing and stuff. And, and then he gets by the hyenas. The hyenas don't like that. They don't like that at all. They're like, rah, rah, rah. and then they're about to like eat him for like a little Simba snack. And then Mufasa just comes in and he's like, Ugh! and then he's all scolding Simba. Like, don't be doing that. I'm James Earl Jones. And, and then he, he's like, you can't go over there. And then, then he, Simba's all sad. Right. And he just comes over and he's talking to his uncle Scar. Who, I mean, can we just be honest for a second? Scar just looks shady. Like nobody else in this whole movie was like, hmm, I don't know. He's part of the family, but, like, he doesn't match any of us. He's, like, red, and we're all, like, yellow. And he lives off in this, like, distant cave and doesn't really talk to anybody. And he's got this weird little snarl. Like, nobody had any red flags about that. That's poor, that's poor kingdom management as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, so he all is all like, hey, let's go down to this thing. And then there's, like, this stampede. And he's like, oh, Mufasa, come get Simba. He's in this stampede. And Mufasa comes up and, you know, and he's like, oh. And, and here's an, let's can we just break for just another second and just say, why doesn't Mufasa have bodyguards that could do this for him? Anyways, so he's running and he gets Simba and he gets Simba out of that thing. And then Mufasa gets trampled. And then Simba's all like, no, dad, no, no, no. And then he, you know, Scar comes up and he's like, oh, it's your fault. It's all your fault. And Simba doesn't question it, which is like, seriously? Come on. Come on. <clears throat> and then you like wake up and like all of a sudden like Simba's like adult. Like what happened? I want to know what happened in like the 13 years in between those two things. Like nothing important happened then. Anyway, so he meets this pig and this... I don't even know. I don't even know what the other one is. But they're like singing about like how life has no worries. And like if I'm Simba, I'm like, I just killed my dad. As far as I know, life has a ton of worries. You guys need to get out of here. And so, like, he's just in there, and and they're singing to him, and and then all of a sudden, like, like Scar takes over and like takes the bird and makes him like, oh, nobody knows the train. He doesn't like that song, so he stops singing that. And he comes in, he's all, like, up in a cage. And then, for some reason, like, 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 somehow Scar can change the weather. And that's just a huge plot hole, isn't it? I mean, you know, wh wh why is the weather changing? So then Simba comes up, and he's like, oh, the weather's changing. This is horrible. And all the females are, like, still normal looking. It doesn't really look like anything's wrong with them. And, and so he goes, and he fights Scar, and all of a sudden he knows it's Nyan's. 
And it's, you know, it was Scar's fault. And am I holding this thing right? Yeah, I'm holding it right. And he's like, he fights him. And then he's like, no, I won't kill you. But like, he does, like, totally kill him. And then every, you know, he dies. And then all of a sudden, like, the sun comes out. And, and then, you know, and freaking, he's like, yeah. And he's holding his new son up. And then the movie just rolls. And you're like, ah, Zawinga! Um, this is a good movie.